John from Lee Bridges. I'm here in Callan Township, PA, 2016 National Night Out in support of law enforcement. And I'm here. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a beautiful spot. Come up towards the main tent. We're going to get started now. Right there in front of me, that is Mr. Hogan. That is the district attorney of Chester County. And I'm here to support law enforcement with National Night Out. Beautiful night. Lots of people here, lots of festivities. And I'm going to film Let's see what's going on here. Thank you. 
All right, one more. I'd ask you to remain standing and ask Pastor Mark Moore of the Thorndale United Methodist Church to come up and give us a blessing. Friends, I'm sure you all know that these days are some particularly challenging days for law enforcement officers all across our land. So would you join me in a prayer as we ask for their protection and safety and then all across our land where there is trouble, peace, and true harmony and community can be known. Let us pray together. Gracious God, this night we start by thanking you for the men and women right here in Callan Township and across our land, the law enforcement officers who are sworn to protect often at their own risk and peril the safety of our communities. And we pray your blessing that they will be safe. And Lord, we pray for our nation in times of distress that people of goodwill can come together and walk together and work through their problems. Bless our time tonight. Keep, keep us safe, keep us strong. And as always, God, in all things, we look to you. May we be your hands, your feet, your heart, as we seek to bring peace and justice for all people. Bless us, for we gather in your name. Amen. Thank you. Now you can relax. You know, on behalf of the Callan Township Police Department, uh, I'd like to thank you all again for being here tonight. As the pastor alluded to, I know we have all been deeply impacted by recent events here in the United States. We are outraged, angered, and saddened. We will never forget the senseless loss of life and will always honor the memory and sacrifice of both innocent civilians and the brave men and women in uniform. But my goal tonight is to focus on the positive. For the past several weeks, Countless families and individuals, some who wish to remain nameless, stopped by the police department to show their support and encouragement for our officers. We hold events such as this to further strengthen that bond between police and community. And I've heard the district attorney say many times how fortunate we are in Chester County to have such a sound relationship with our communities and a far lower incidence of police complaints compared to other parts of this state and country. So please, enjoy yourselves tonight, but take the time while you're here this evening to meet the officers. Our motto is policing with the community, and we can't do it effectively without your help and support. By the way, each Callan Township police officer has individualized baseball trading cards, and the child, who collects the most by the end of the night will receive a $50 gift certificate. So at this time, it's my honor to introduce the president of the Callan Township Board of Commissioners, Cynthia Eshel. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you um, to Callan Township. This is the third year that we have actually held the National Night Out. For any of you that don't know, this is the 33rd year the National Night Out has been held across uh, the United States and in Canada. One of the things that I think is important to point out is that our National Night Out, when we took on to do this task, the thing one, we decided that we weren't going to um, take it lightly. So our first year of having this event in 2014, Callan Township was recognized as a Rookie of the Year for National Night Out. Our second year for having this event, we were recognized one out of 30 of over 16,000 municipalities in the United States and Canada as having one of the best national night outs. So if that is a testament, it's a testament to the community. And, and it's very important for us to really recognize our police departments that are here tonight. We have the Sheriff's Department, we have the State Police, we have the Coatesville School Police, and of course our town officers. But on top of that, we also have a community of donors that are so willing to step to the plate and say, for the police department, no problem. So I want to recognize some of our sponsors this evening. This year we raised over $15,000 to have this event, and it's because of supporters like you in the community. One of the commitments that we made the first year that we had National Night Out is that we 
we would not use taxpayer dollars to have this event. And thank you to the sponsors you've been able to make that possible. That we have not had to use one taxpayer dollar in order to have this event here in the township. So I say thank you. I also want to take a moment before I introduce the sponsors, introduce the board that I have that I serve with here. And we have a great board in, in Callum Township. I have Jennifer Bretton, who is the vice chair with me here at the board. George Chambers, John Contento, and our longest serving commissioner, we have Josh Young, and he regrets for not being appropriately retired, but he is uh, getting ready to run tonight in the 5K, so just overlook his uh, wear there, Josh. All right, I want to acknowledge our $1,000 sponsors. We have Mr. Jack Dell, Dell Toyota. We have the Chamberlain family, Pico, and Cedarville Engineering. We also have $500 sponsors, Noel Bernard of Keller Williams Real Estate, Daryl Fling of Fling's Towing, Kia of Coatesville, East End Automotive, American Water, Advantage Engineers, Courtesy Chrysler Jeep, William Cohen and Sons, Rotary Club of Thorndale, and then we have many, many more who gave $250, $100 amounts, and some who just came into the community station said I want to give a little bit of a donation to you. So I want to say thank you to all of you in the community for making this possible. We have special guests here tonight. Obviously we did recognize the VFW. I want to thank you guys for coming out and uh, doing the colors for us tonight. I also want to introduce someone who is no stranger to law enforcement in the community, and that is our DA, Tom Hogan. He gives a tremendous amount of to our police officers and is instrumental here in the community. Tom? You know, the relationship between the police and the citizens is like a marriage. Now, all of you who are married are sort of rolling your eyes about that. But it should scare you, too, because how many marriages in America these days end up in divorce? What percentage? About 50% of marriages end up in divorce. So that should scare you a little. That the relationship between police and their civilians that they serve is like a marriage. Because as we look around the country right now, we are seeing more and more of those relationships fall apart. Why doesn't that happen here in Chester County? Why is the marriage between the police and our civilians I'm going to give three reasons. The first one is because we are good-looking, wealthy, and well-educated. All right? There's no getting around it. Right, man? It is. We have a wonderful place to live here. We have a lot of great businesses here. We have very well-educated people here. I see Kathy Tasher from the school district here, our superintendent, helping people be educated. That helps. It helps if you're Brad Pitt and Angelina and Joe Lee, right? And that's us. But the second reason is, after you've been married about five years, you realize just being good-looking isn't good enough. You realize that this is going to take teamwork. The two of you against the world. And our citizens and our police have realized that. That unless they can rely on each other, they cannot defeat the criminals of the world. So our citizens and our police rely on each other. They have each other's backs. But the third reason that it works in Chester County between our police departments and our citizens is because they understand if you've been married as long as I have, you know that marriage is work. You've got to work at being married. You've got to tell your spouse every now and then, boy, you look good tonight. You've got to tell your spouse every now and then, you go out, I'll take care of the kids. You have to tell your spouse now and then, you did a great job on the house. You did a great job with the kids. You've done a great job taking care of me. Our police and our citizens appreciate each other. We tell each other. The police, we tell the citizens, we appreciate how you support us. We appreciate how you give us the funding to do our jobs. 
Now you back us up. Citizens tell the police you guys look good in your uniforms. We appreciate that. And our police tell our citizens it is our pleasure to serve you. There's nobody we want to protect that are citizens here in Chester County. So on behalf of all of law enforcement in Chester County, I realize that the night out every year is basically our anniversary. It's our chance to celebrate with you the relationship that we have between the police and the civilians. So on behalf of all of law enforcement, let me tell our civilian community, we say I do. And we say I do over and over again for as long as Chester County stands. God bless you all. Have a good night.